Hi guys! It may not look like it, and I'm, I'm sorry, um, I still am getting over this cold, so sorry about that, but the weather outside necessarily isn't summer weather. However, summer is right around the corner, which means the super cute shoes and flip-flops and sandals are right around the corner. That means we gotta get our feet ready, because I don't know about you guys, but I don't really do a lot to my feet in the winter time. Just because you're constantly in socks, you're constantly in, you know, boots or shoes of some sort. So anyway, I just wanted to share with you guys what I like to use and to get my feet ready for the summertime. So first of all, um, pumice. Pumice is great and you can get one with a little handle, you can get one just a pumice, plain pumice um, stick brick, looks like a little brick. Um, I have, this is Earth Therapeutics, I guess a lot of my products are. I must have got like a, a package of some sort, but um, this just, you know, and I just keep this in the shower and just kind of, you know, you rub it on your the heel of your foot. Just kind of get rid of all that dead skin. If you have more skin than what the pumice needs to get rid of, um, I love this little tool. This, I was really scared to use this at first. What is this even called? I don't even know. I don't even know. Does this thing have a name or not? But it is, there is a little razor blade in there. It, there is a blade in there. I don't know if you guys could see it. I think I still have like, yeah, blade. And what you do is you just uh, sp scrape it, I guess, along the heel of your foot or, you know, along your big toe if you've got extra skin that needs to come off. And like I said, I was really nervous to use this, but, um, or corns, I guess they call them. It says right here, corn plate on top of it. Um, but it does a great job, and I really, I really like it. And it's not gonna take off a whole bunch. You're not gonna like be missing chunks of skin, and you know, it's not gonna be traumatizing. I love a good foot scrub. Anything, any kind of foot scrub that you have. You can even make your own foot scrub. A brown sugar scrub would be great. Uh, just kind of scrub up. You know, make sure to get your up your heel, not your heel, up where your ankle is. Sometimes dead skin can kind of um, accumulate there. I know this is like such a glamorous topic, but um, you need to get that taken care of, especially if you're going to do any type of uh, tanning, uh, fake tanning. You don't want it because those are the spots that it's going to stick to, like around your ankles and things like that, that you really just don't want to. So definitely use a scrub. Something else that I like to do is take a, take lotion, any type of lotion, a balm, a cream lotion of some sort. I've, I use this one. And this is a foot repair balm. And put it on your feet, especially right before you go to bed. And then you can just use a regular sock if you want. But I had gotten these. And this is Earth Therapeutics also. And it's just a big honking sock, basically, um, that you, they do, it did come with um, inserts, like with a lavender insert that you can heat up in the microwave. And it's supposed to be stress relief too, so you could do that also. But just put a sock on. Um, and I just, I can't sleep with socks on. I, they drive me nuts. So these are really nice. I get in bed, let it sit for an hour, half an hour, whatever, until I fall asleep. And then I end up just kind of kicking them off and they come off nice and easy. So um, if you fall asleep with them on and all of a sudden you wake up and you're roasting, you just kick them off really easily. The one thing that I do want to share with you guys um, that I absolutely love and after I got it, I cannot, I can't live without it. I am, I'm absolutely addicted to this thing. It is the M-Joy Petty, Micro Petty, and this thing is amazing. After I used it, I literally have to use it once a week or I start freaking out. Like I, I 
my feet are so rough I have to use it. It just turns on and this little ball spins and then you just uh, rub it against your heel. And hopefully like my hand is not like throwing skin around. And you just rub, you just basically very lightly go over your heel and it takes off the skin and your skin feels amazing. The heels are so soft, everything. The packet that I got also came with all these little tools. Can you see those? And these are great for, these ones right here, are great for in between the toes or even your hands. And then it can, comes with a nail set. So these are all your nail tools to give yourself um, uh, a manicure also. And I have to apologize to you guys for my own nails. We're redoing the bathroom upstairs and so painting, spackling, staining, doing all that kind of stuff, I can't seem to keep a good manicure going. But um, this is amazing and um, I got mine off of QVC. I don't know, maybe it was like around 50 bucks. I, I don't really remember, but um, they come with little refill cartridges inside. It comes in this great little travel bag, I guess. I just keep this um, in my nightstand and literally I, oh, this is like the greatest girlfriend gift ever. If you guys are looking for a gift for somebody, this is it. I know it seems so weird, but this is great. And this one even came with a handle um, for your feet. So it makes it a little bit longer and then it does have a mirror on the back of it. So um, absolutely love it. So if the pumice and the, you know, little scrapers aren't doing it for you, give this sucker a try because I really, really like it. And um, go and stock up on some really bright, fun colors of nail polishes and you're set that's it your feet are ready for summer and the, the cute shoes because let's face it if you're wearing cute shoes and your feet are not up to par then kind of takes away from the really cute shoes that you're wearing so anyway um i guys I hope you guys like this video and um, let me know if you give that Emetroy a try because I, I really like it. It's They say it doesn't tickle. I don't really have very sensitive feet when it comes to tickling so I can't really say if it tickles or not because I don't really have very ticklish feet but they say it doesn't, for people who have very ticklish feet, it doesn't doesn't tickle so anyway um that's what i do um i hope you guys like this video and i will see you guys next time bye